everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am the SP Nation. I'm an OG YouTuber that provides luxury beauty reviews all the time. And as I always say, since you're already here, feel free to hit that like button, definitely hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, turn on those notification bells so that you're aware of all the content that I have coming out. So of course, Tom Ford, in case you don't know, as you've been living under a rock, Tom Ford has come out with a new concealer. And of course, this is something to match the Traceless Foundation, which is of course the most expensive foundation that any person of color can buy that I'm aware of. So, <laughs> you know, being that that foundation is $150, the sealer is $90. So when I saw that it was $90, I was wondering about the size. I didn't know if it was a full ounce or if it was a little bit more than an ounce. I didn't really know or if it was a standard 15 ml or concealer but yeah it's $90 guys miss Ford mm. but naturally because there's no crying in luxury beauty I bought two different colors so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start this look out today I'm gonna use a silk canvas primer from Tatcha this is actually one of my favorite primers I haven't used it in a minute I think a few moments ago I said traceless foundation. I meant to say shade and illuminate. Shade and illuminate foundation is the most expensive foundation that you know you can buy if you're personal color. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take this. This is in shade 11. No, it's in shade 10, chestnut. And also I will say this as well. If you are buying this for the first time, do not buy this from a store. As far as you know, being a name market is Bird of Goodman, Saks, Nordstrom. Buy this from a CCO, guys. You can order from a CCO over the phone. They have the night and day all day long I have been to more than one and seen this particular foundation and this foundation is half off so you can pay $75 for a $150 foundation you're welcome as we're being bougie I'm gonna go and pull out my La Mer foundation brush Besides finding the right shade in this foundation, which was some trouble for me initially, and I have the videos um, that you can check out, I'll leave in the description box um, when I first tried this out. Um, besides that, the only other thing about this foundation is I put on very small amounts because it gets really shiny and it starts to look kind of crazy. But if I use a very light hand, it's very pretty. That's the beauty of this foundation. Very little is needed. Even though it's very expensive, you use very little of the product. So in the concealer, I got the shades Spice and Coco. And Spice is 6W1, Coco is 7W0. Now, here you can see these swatches on the back of my hand. So right here is Spice, and here is Coco. Based on just looking at them, Coco looks to be a better match as far as being a concealer for me. If I wanted to do a little bit more correcting, I would probably use Spice. I'm going to also note that in the community um, the community board on YouTube, I will provide you guys with an update because I'm probably going to go back to the store and try a lighter shade just to see how it looks because online swatches, it's, it's literally pointless to look at the swatches online for the concealer. Um, this is something I think, honestly, you should look at in person if you are hesitant hesitant or if you're just uncertain, especially if you're a person of color because you're probably going to be very surprised because I would you would think that the seven would mean that it's deeper, but it's not 
it's deeper. Yeah, it's deeper. It just looks more like a foundation for me. It looks like something that I would wear as a foundation. So to me, I think I would have to go even lighter. So I'm thinking I could be a 5W1, possibly a 6 as well. A 6, um, either a 6W0 or a 5W1. So not really sure, but if that changes, I'll definitely let you guys know in the community board. All right, so we're going to take 7W0 Cocoa. I'm going to use this as my concealer. It was really nice. As a signature Tom Ford smell. So putting on 7W0 or the shade Coco, it just kind of reinforces the foundation and it makes my skin look even more flawless. What I'm going to do is put on a little bit of 6W1 on top. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my Gucci bronzer, shade four. From Pat McGrath, I'm gonna use Desert Orchid, the blush. This is a very gender neutral shade. I love this shade so much. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Coral Glow from Dior. Just apply that to the cheeks as well. Or just slightly above anyway. Now to just clean up under the eyes, I'm gonna take the Blurring Under Eye Powder from Pat McGrath and Medium and her concealer brush as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish my face with Translucent Honey from Laura Mercier Blue Setting Powder. And as always, I'm going to finish with my Soft Focus Setting Spray from Hourglass. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this concealer. This medium coverage, buildable waterproof concealer merges three-dimensional skincare with three-dimensional radiance. Fused with hyaluronic acid, smooths, moisturizes, and obscures redness, dark under-eye circles, and fine lines to create a flawless base for foundation. 5.4 ml, available in 20 different shades, and retails for $90. So I just want to put things into perspective for you. <laughs> like, the price... <sighs> Okay, as I said, there is no crying in luxury beauty. However, his pricing, it just flat out makes no sense whatsoever. Why doesn't it make sense? Well, let's just check this out. So this right here, this Shade and Illuminate Concealer, it's 5.4 ml for $90, okay? The foundation, okay? Foundation is a 30 ml, so it's a standard one ounce bottle. It retails for $150, okay? So we're talking $60 difference between the two. Now, the previous concealer, the Emotion Proof Concealer, which I, I'm still a fan of, this concealer, let's see, it is 0.24 ounces, and this retailed for only $54. So you're telling me that it makes sense to have, go from 0.54 ounces to 0.18 fluid ounces and charge me $90 instead of $54? make it make sense it it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever i'm not sure who was in charge of the pricing on this but it literally makes absolutely no sense if this as this foundation was or this concealer if it were i would say i would say 75 dollars at the most maybe maybe 75 dollars i probably would have sold it for maybe 65 70 something like that but 75 dollars would be the absolute most that i would price this and it would make more sense but 90 dollars that's pretty steep but again no crying at luxury beauty and if you're interested i wear a shade 11 in emotion proof as far as the concealer is concerned just so that you can get a get a picture of this when i actually purchased it 
I went home, I put it on, and I just let it sit just to see what it would look like. And it looked beautiful throughout the evening. It was just for a few hours. And then I put it on again today, the video, of course. And I'm going to wear it throughout the day. And I will update my community board to let you guys know about that. And also let you know um, how I mentioned about maybe going back to get a different shade. I'll include that all in that message so that you're aware if I went in and got a different shade because uh, my, my eyes are playing tricks on me right now. But it's just when I'm looking at this, yeah. Okay, it's me. So <laughs> shade, uh, let's see, shade Coco, which is 7W0. Coco is darker. You can clearly see it in the glass. It's darker, um, but it looks more like my foundation shade. That's why I went ahead and said, you know, let me go ahead and just put this on top because I think that's what I did last night. Last night, I put on shade 6W1. I didn't use 7.0 because I felt like it was too dark. Actually more like my skin tone, um, but just better. And it just looks beautiful. Like when you spread it across the face, it looks absolutely flawless. Like it makes my skin look perfect. Um, this concealer, I'm trying to make you understand, or not even make you understand, but I'm trying to justify the $90, okay? $90. <laughs> that's really steep um i would say if you're someone who is not a collector of foundation concealer um things like that if you're not one of these obsessed people like myself um i would say get this particular product if you want to splurge on you know having the best of the best then this would be one of the ones that you'd want to get and i can tell you definitely there are cheaper concealers that look just as good um even if not better than this but this one looks really good though and it's just luxury it has some has a little weight to it it looks expensive it matches the foundation it makes you just want to buy both at the same time like I don't know like it's this is a part of the luxury experience so i mean i don't know i mean you're paying for the packaging god obviously you're paying for the package this is like packaging of the year for foundation and concealer um you well this one definitely was number one i probably would say overall for packaging um when it came out and now for concealer it's gonna take it because i don't think anything is gonna come out that's gonna look this luxurious but overall the concealer is great guys okay they have 20 different shades so you have plenty of time to like find or plenty of options rather to you know find the shade that works perfectly for you and like i said i may go a little bit lighter but overall, it's perfectly fine for me. 6W1 is lighter than my skin tone, and it gives me just a subtle, subtle highlight, which is what I like in my concealers. I don't like dramatic highlighting. I don't think it looks good on me. So 6W1 is fine for me. And the 7W0, if I wanna match my actual skin tone, if I wanna actually wear the foundation or the concealer as a foundation, for some strange reason, if I want to just waste the product, then I would actually use 7W0. So I'm still going to keep these because I really like and I'll just add an additional baby to it um, But yeah overall This is truly Truly a masterpiece This is a beautiful Amazing concealer and I've had no issues with it since I've been wearing it um, So first impressions blown away um, And I've worn it for several hours so It's you know it's obvious that this is a great concealer Um Let's see what else this is currently exclusive to nordstrom if i'm not mistaken so you can only buy it from nordstrom i will leave links down below if you'd like to purchase it um let's see i did do curbside pickup so of course it gave me a time for a bag which was nice um <laughs> i don't think if there's anything else i got uh yeah i mean that's pretty much it guys so definitely let me know if you've tried this concealer if you plan to purchase this concealer if you plan to just do a big splurge and just buy this concealer because again there's nothing on the market that i'm aware of for people of color where you can go and buy you know a concealer that's you know a hundred dollar concealer essentially so this is fabulous could you imagine just taking this out of your purse for no reason oh my god so fabulous anyway definitely rate comment subscribe and i'll be back with a whole lot more guys bye